guys, I'm the Canadian Review, I'm doing a new video review for you guys, and, uh, uh, I woke up with less blood in my body, I'm not going to go into detail, but I noticed that there was a figure that I had to review, and because of all the craziness and then, you know, not having as much blood thing going through my head, I thought we were taking a look at Beast Hunter's Starscream. Let's take a look at what we're looking at. Oh, okay. I am not reviewing that toy, the Transformers Perling Beast Hunter Starscream. That is like one of the worst figures ever. Yeah, I don't think I want to review that. I really don't. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, fall asleep on the couch, okay? Uh, wake me if you need me. <sighs> You're not going to leave me alone until I review it. So here's Starscream in his alt mode, and as you can see, he's a little race car. Well, isn't it obvious? What else is he? A jet? No! Reuse joke from my first review. <laughs> but you know what happened to this figure? You know why it's so brown and pink? Well, here's the origins of the story. Someone's favorite color is brown for some reason. I, I, I have no idea why. And, uh, and also pink, and they decide, hey, a pink and brown Starscream, that'd be great. So literally, you have a flying turd. You know, meme that. Meme that now! Meme that, please! Bitch, meme that! It's got some great pink details. And by great, I mean all over the place pink details. I mean, it, l l just look at it. Look at it! What's cohesive about this? I mean, the wings are alright. I'm not gonna hate the wings, but just everything about this figure is really just out of place. I mean, if you like G2, fine, but... What are they trying to do? I mean, I kind of see it for the alt mode, but the robot mode... Meh. He does have a gun things, whatever thingy-mabobber weapon that attaches to the bottom. And if you're curious, it is about the length of the jet, so one-third of the plastic goes to this. You get your award in the mail. He does have landing gear, which folds up, you know. And he has little rockets that almost look like the Titanic or some little submarine or some ship. I don't know why, you know. Boost the toast. One of the biggest problems is that the feet just go everywhere and all this detaches and it's kind of a pain to really keep this figure stable in the back but other than that there's really not much to complain about the alt mode the the colors a little bit of a brownish greenish I, I think there's a bit of green I don't know how it's coming off on the camera but let's go on to the robot mode which is gray The letter for the contest is on your screen. <clears throat> hey, no doubt, um, I've made some modifications to Starscream. Um, please don't be too judgmental. Oh, trust me, how bad can it be? So, how do you like the new me? Oh, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. Ah, if only I could reach them. Ah. And here's Starscream in his robot mode, and, uh, uh, this is probably one of the worst figures to ever come out for Transformers Prime. No, it probably is the worst figure, if you don't count the oversized legends that probably depict that the apocalypse is nearing. Let's, I mean... The, the look at this. Look at this. This is a beautiful star scream. And then this is like... What? Let's take a look at the weapon first, okay? Shall we? Yes. 
This is his weapon of choice. It's a little pincher claw. I don't know why, don't ask me. But it has a little saw blade on the front. It has okay detail. Thrusters on the side, which is okay. You can attach it to the back like so if you want for weapon storage. Or you can attach it like this so he can beg uh, Megatron for money. <laughs> No. No. No, 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 no. But you can also attach it to the side arm thing like so, you know, you can attach it like so if it will cooperate. Oh, uh, it, uh, 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 there we go. And you know, it will pinch. It will pinch your fingers. Ooh, Decepticons are bad. You can also attach the missiles to the side, which, uh, I find pretty cool. It's, it's cool. Just a little added feature they didn't really have to add, but, uh, they did anyways. It's got some tabs and some slots so you can attach it to the figure like so. You can attach it to the arm tabs or by the arm pegs, and you can attach the rockets to the slots or to the tabs. It also has a peg on there, or you can hold it like this, like you you just pinch the marshmallow and you're cooking it over the fire. Fantastic. I don't know, but I, I think they were trying to pull off a bulkier figure over a much skinnier robot, and I don't know if it works. I mean, it's just everywhere to me. I don't know why it's like that. So, you know, things, things of pinginess. I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt. I mean, he looks like he's got freaking hamster cheeks, but when he looks down, oh, oh, he's thinking. Oh my. And he has a purple crotch. I guess that's a Decepticon Speedo or, or Cup or, or something. I'm not a Decepticon. And yes, in case you are wondering, Starscream is sporting the high heels. So that's all for the close-up review. Let's go to the overall review. Two time! These are the loosest high heels ever! So overall, do I highly recommend Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Starscream? <laughs> a bit, actually. It's not a horrible figure. Not as bad as what I thought. It's probably the worst figure of Beast Hunters, but if you can tolerate it, then I guess you can like most of the line. It's not something you need to have in your collection, but it's not really that terrible. A little bit better than what I thought I was going to originally get. Anyway, so that's all for now. I'm the Canadian Reviewer. I'm going to eat some bacon. Happy Holidays!